bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I do greet you in the sufficiently strong name of Jesus Christ, thanking and praising God for another day, just for us to meet together, to uh, get into his word, to hear from him, to be healed, to be promoted in our walk with him, uh, to be encouraged, to be strengthened. Glory to God. Amen. Thank God for everybody who's blessed to join us today. Amen. I just thank God. I really do thank God for everybody who's coming along today. Pray that everything is coming through clearly. Amen. I'm uh, obviously um, kind of coming to you remotely today. Um, but I thank God because he makes all things possible. Amen. I'm looking for God to bless. I'm expecting it. I'm speaking it. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. Amen. I expect God to heal today. I expect, I know God will heal. He will turn things around today. He will heal uh, in our spirits today. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Let's go before the throne of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank you for this day. Thank you, God, for your sufficiency. Thank you for taking care of us, for looking out for us. We cannot look out for ourselves. Thank you for providing for us, God, for keeping us, God. In the name of Jesus, I just thank you for everybody who's blessed, Lord, to just join in with us today. Father, I thank you for your spirit being alive and well, moving among your, among your people today, Lord. I thank you for your word, and you tell us in your word that you send your word to heal our disease. So, God, we are thanking you for healing today in the name of Jesus. We are believing it. We are confessing it. We are professing it. Lord, we are apprehending it today. Lord, thank you. Have your way. Move by your power, God. We just thank you and we praise you for all you are, for all you're doing even today, God. Oh, be glorified, Lord. Be glorified through this lesson today, Lord. Thank you for this means, for this venue, for getting your word out. Lord, we thank you for those who support it, those who uh, say positive things, Lord, those who um, do whatever it takes to affirm what's going on, because that only promotes your word getting out more and more. And we do thank you for that, God. We don't come um, thinking ourselves worthy except through uh, you who live lives in us, God. So ha have your way today. Be glorified in Jesus' wonderfully strong name. Amen. Again, I just thank and praise God for allowing us to gather together today. Thank and praise God for everybody. Just encourage others uh, to join in. Um, encourage others to just be um, part of what's going on. To affirm what is positive. Amen. Amen. And that's how we just intend to keep it and promote it and pass it along. Amen. Affirming what is positive. Affirming what is good. Affirming what is worthy. Amen. What's worthy of praise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So I just thank and praise God today. I really am excited about what the Lord has going on. I'm excited. I'm excited in the Holy Ghost about what the Lord has going on right here and right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, bless the Lord. I'm. Uh, uh, we're moving on today. We said two weeks ago uh, we began this, this little series and this study. Um, entitled he wants all of me he wants all of me and of course we are addressing that whole matter of of um, God's desire for us to be holistically whole to be whole in our bodies in our uh, souls and in our spirits amen um, we thank the Lord for the foundational scripture Isaiah uh, 53 and 5 he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Praise the Lord. Thank God, thank God, and with his stripes we are healed. And so we're learning, and we're seeking to better apprehend how to get this word, and how to, to apply it, and believe it, and, uh, and know that it is real, and it is right uh, for us in our uh, situations amen that's you got to believe it i got to believe it that this word is not just for somebody else somewhere else but it's real and it's right for us in our situations as it regards his desire uh his for all of us his desire for all of us for all of for 
the complete person uh, to be healed, for the complete person to be whole. Amen. That's his desire for all of us. For he wants all of me. He doesn't just want um, my soul um, um, good and my spirit and my body ragged, but he wants all of me. He wants me. My, my, my body on top of things he wants my spirit on top of things as well uh, and then we said that for the succeeding three weeks which began last week we would be addressing an area and taking holy communion so as we're gathering uh, get your elements whatever you have um, uh, amen if you don't have what you usually have when you take communion in your fellowship or wherever you get a piece of bread and you get a drink amen and that will uh we will uh, are sanctified unto the lord he knows all things he knows what you have available and don't have available and uh, we will observe holy communion in just a few minutes we will observe holy communion in just a few minutes i'm just thinking and praising god today because i know i know his desire i know he wills amen to bring us healing and to bring us wholeness and to bring us help amen amen so today uh we, we last week we dealt with uh he wants my soul he wants um my soul he wants my soul uh today we're using this some um, subject he wants a reunion with his spirit he wants a reunion with his spirit he wants a reunion with his spirit he wants a reunion with his spirit, he wants a reunion with his spirit. and um uh, we're going to make several scriptural references. I will give give this one uh, as foundational for us to get started. That's Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. Again, Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. And uh, the uh, theme, the subject today is he wants uh, a reunion with his spirit. He wants a reunion with his spirit. Well, let's find Matthew uh, 8, 16 and 17 and read it. When the evening, even was come, or evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. What was their situation? They were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word. He cast out the spirits with his word and healed all who were sick that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah, or Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses amen amen he cast out devils with his word and healed all who were sick amen well we do realize that um, sickness is not just a physical matter amen we can be sick in in our bodies we can be sick in our souls amen we can be sick in our spirits amen we can be wounded in our spirits amen amen i'm telling you we can be wounded um, in our spirits amen well let's let's just do a little bit of talking then about that whole matter of um of of um, the reunion in the spirit amen let's let's go if we go to genesis chapter 2 verse 7 uh, i'm not i'll just re, um i will um, recite a portion of it amen um, god breathed into his nostrils into man's nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul amen Amen. God breathed. He, God uh, put his essence, pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A. He put his pneuma into man's nostrils. And that was the breath of life. Amen. Man became a living soul. Before this, man's soul was dead. His body had no animation. His body had no movement. And his soul, there was no expression of emotions of desires of passions but it was the pneuma it was the spirit of god it was god's essence that awakened the the soul and that animated the body amen 
this is critical it is the essence of God that awakened the soul amen that awakened desire and passions and emotions it was the essence of God God he breathed into man's nostrils the the, the breath of life he breathed his breath he breathed his essence that's the spirit of God that's the spirit of God and that uh, quickened that uh, caused our emotions and our bodies to come to life amen so um, another great passage um, that we we are going to look at very briefly uh, comes from the Gospel of John John chapter 4 amen and I'm, I'm going to just read uh, verses 23 and 24 John chapter 4 verses 23 and 24 John chapter 4 verses 23 and 24 amen but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth amen you see spirit amen amen <laughs> amen uh, all through that amen the hour now cometh and now is when true worshipers shall worship him in spirit and in truth amen uh, sometimes we not because we're bad people not because we we uh, don't want it but when our spirit is sick we can go we can call ourselves worshiping god but um the wound keeps us from really worshiping god we're just going through the motions we're saying what needs to be said we're doing what needs to be done but there the god today this day january the 19th amen uh, 2020 amen god is calling for a reunion with his spirit he's calling he's 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 calling out to that deep part of you and that deep part of me his spirit in us that may have been packed uh, under things and packed under situations and packed under under feelings and packed under emotions and packed under passions amen he's calling that spirit forth today Lord he's calling himself he that's what he invested in us he invested himself in us he invested his own essence he didn't come and put something else in us the word of god says he breathed into man's nostrils the breath so he is spirit he is numa amen that's what god is spirit that's it god is numa he is this breathe this breath this um spirit that um that is um, this vital principle one calls it um, by which the body is animated and the soul is activated amen so the body isn't life rather the body holds life amen the body isn't life rather the body holds life that's why often when I'm accompanying families um, to at funeral homes for initial viewings I, I try to do it because it's sometimes it's, it's a difficult impact it's the first time some members have seen them since they've expired they uh, when they expired they might have been looking a certain kind of way and so it's challenging to see that corpse that dead body but i try to remind people that that i know this is what we're used to this is what we're attached to this is what we can touch this is what we can feel but um this isn't that person this is what housed the person this is what held the person so it is that person in that it is their body but we aren't essentially our bodies we are essentially the the pneuma the breath that god breathed into us amen i tell folk when we're getting ready to go to cemeteries you are not going to bury that person you're going to deposit the body they lived in the body that that's you that you call them by their name and that body responded but it wasn't just the body it was the spirit in them that was responding amen so don't think that you're going to bury a spirit you're going to deposit a body in the repose of death until the the jesus comes in the middle of the air and the bible says that he will bring the spirits of the departed with him amen so the spirit 
is is we're already with them at the point when we, when we expire when we leave our bodies amen but he brings them back and they will be reunited with that body that was temporal that was uh, mortal and it will be raised immortal only at that point amen amen that's really point god is this breath he is this uh, breeze he is this spirit Amen. That vitalizes. He is this, this essential essence that is so phenomenal that he can speak things into existence. His creativity isn't just with, with, as with B or you trying to make something with our hands. His creativity is in his essence. He can speak it and call it glory to God into existence glory to God and that's what he did in the creative process and now this spirit who deposited himself his his breath his numa in us is saying I want a reunion now I'm look look you've been wounded you you down you out you, you you've suffered this you've suffered that I want a reunion with that spirit I want I, I am calling to that deep part of you and I know that deep part of you hears me calling you uh, and and so you must stop focusing then on 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 the woundedness you must focus on me uh, the Lord tells us in in um, in in uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 5 17 therefore if any man be in Christ Jesus he's a new creature he's a new creation all things are passed away um, and behold, things have become new. Amen. Well, that's an ongoing process. We are saved immediately. Amen. But that process of becoming new is ever happening because as long as we're in this flesh, things will come against us that will um, that may cause us to suffer setbacks. And after setbacks, we need the the capacity to bounce back. Amen. So so we are continually becoming this new creature we are continually becoming this new creature all things are passed away passed away passed away so the Lord says no 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 it's time for you to shake some stuff it's time for you to let some stuff go it's time for some stuff to pass away now you get come on from under that come on from out of that um, um, uh, so what is it then that when he says he wants a reunion with his spirits well well he realizes that sometimes our spirits are under attack amen our spirits are under attack our spirits are under attack amen um, um, if, if, if a body isn't killed um, um, and if um, attacks on the mind don't work but the enemy knows if I can get that spirit down, if I can just get that spirit wounded. Um, Matthew 5 and 3 says, blessed are the poor in spirit, the wounded in spirit. Blessed are those whose spirits are harassed, uh, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Ble you're blessed um, um, when, 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 when you endure these wounds. Um, you're blessed because the Lord gives us this resilience he gives us this capacity to bounce back and to be reunited with him to, for our spirits uh, to come and mingle with him in essence and to be built up and I'm telling you if, if our spirits unite with him in that time of worship if it is even if, whether it's individual personal devotions or a uh, small group devotion or a a more corporate situation whatever it is when our spirits saints when our spirits unite with him glory to God there is a healing that goes forth there's a healing that goes forth glory to God and if our spirits don't unite we can go through the exercises we can seem like we're having a good time we can do what people say is praising the Lord but if it's just um, uh, our 
souls giving expression to emotions without our spirits being reunited and being re in reunion with his spirit so that he can minister and he can refresh us and he can lift us and he can encourage us then that worship time really hasn't been what it what it could have been so i'm not discounting the need at times to 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 moan through things and to groan through things and to uh, cry through things and to uh, I'm not I'm not uh, minimizing that but I'm saying when it's time for healing when it's time for healing when it's time when I want the healing to come forward I've got to say okay God uh, uh, my, my, my body is feeling this my soul is all jacked up with passions and emotions and stuff but my spirit the the purest essence and the enemy knows if he can get this pure essence down, if he can get this pure essence uh, harassed, if he can get this pure essence wounded, then he can slow everything down. But Lord, I'm bringing my pure essence. I'm bringing uh, back to you uh, yourself. I'm bringing that bit of you that you deposited when you blew the, the breath of life, when you blew your essence into man's nostrils and 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 moved him from a dead body and an inactive soul and he became an animated body and a passionate em um, soul with emotions and feelings and desires amen amen uh, bless the lord amen so um uh, 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 what uh, do what makes us think glory to God that uh, God can still do that there's sometimes we hear people say well well that was the Bible days and, and things are not like that now well I, I, I really can't I really can't do any exhaustive expression in terms of what things are or how things are and, the, and all of that but I can tell you this much Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever and if he is the same and the needs of mankind are the same then he is as present and as able to do it now as he ever was able to do it glory to God he is as present and able and capable and desirous of doing it now as he ever was so if he wanted to heal 2,000 years ago, he wants to heal now. If he want, wanted us whole 2,000 years ago, he wants us whole now. Glory to God. Because he is the same. His essence has not changed. Amen. Jesus said, the Father and I are one. So he shared the, he shared the pneuma of the Father. The Father and I are one. Amen. 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 We are one. And as it's, if he did it then, he certainly can do it now. He can do it again and again and again. So the question becomes, what are we, what, for what are we thirsty? Amen. That's the correct grammatical way to say it. For what are we thirsty? Now the common way of saying that might be, what are we thirsty for? Amen. For what are we thirsty? Amen. Are we thirsting and are we hungering? for this reunion with God the Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm speaking it out. I'm putting it out in the in the atmosphere. Please apprehend this. Get a hold of this. Start confessing it. I want this reunion of my spirit with the Spirit of God. Glory to God. I want all the benefits of this reunion of my spirit with the Spirit of God. I don't want any hindering. I don't want anything holding me back. I don't want to get hung up in my emotions because that's going to take me where I don't need to go right now. That's going to be a stumbling block for me. I want this reunion of my spirit. Glory to God with the spirit of God. Amen. Come on. Say it, saints. I want this reunion of my spirit with the spirit of God. Glory to God. And when we start hungering for that and thirsting for that, when we, we get complete, when, when our energies are given toward that, amen, such that it's like, it's like your child, your baby calling you, um, and you, you know it's not 
uh, the call of a spoiled brat who just can't stand for you to put him down but it's the call of a baby who has some need that that needs to be addressed and when you hear them calling you you're gonna respond and when because that's you calling you you know that's why I respond because that's you calling mamas and daddies we respond because that's you calling you that that ain't just some child that's your child that's your essence glory to God glory to God that's that's why you can't ignore it amen you find folk amen who can ignore a, a, an authentic cry of their children they might have produced them but they don't have that essence of what a mother and a father is no 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 they don't they don't have it they don't have it because if they had it they would they would respond to the cry of that child and I'm telling you now as brothers and sisters, as sons and daughters of the Most High God, if we start saying, God, I want it. I want this reunion. I'm blocking out. I don't want distractions. I'm telling you, now is not a good time for, for other uh, social media stuff. No, just stay focused on this. Now is not a good time for answering the door or anything else. Just consecrate this time. No distractions, no distractions. You need this healing, you need this healing, you need this healing. I'm speaking the healing uh, in the Holy Ghost. I'm speaking this healing that God wants to do a repair work in you. I'm speaking this healing that just comes from spending that time, that intimate time with God. Glory to God. I want this reunion. I want it. Yes, I do. I want this reunion. I'm craving this reunion. I have a passion for this reunion. Glory to God. Everything's Everything in me is crying out for this reunion. Glory to God. I'm telling you, he is right here right now. And he is noticing, just as a good mother or father would, he's noticing the brokenness of that child. He's noticing that broken spirit. He's noticing that harassed spirit. He's noticing that wounded spirit. Amen. And 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 I I refer again now to the passage in um in uh in Matthew eight, sixteen and seventeen. Amen. Again, when the even was come they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. Amen. Now we used to kind of hear people say it and I think we took the phrase kind of tritely amen when certain things would happen and the older older folk would say that ain't nothing but the devil um, amen I, maybe so, I, I I know I'm not the only one who, who's heard that amen but they would say that ain't nothing but the devil and how right they were amen he they brought bunches bunches of people to him with all kinds of maladies all kinds of situations amen but the 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 force behind the situations were the spirits of devils the spirits of devils the spirits of devils he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all them that were sick all them that were sick whatever the situation whether it was in the body in the soul in the spirit he healed all them that were sick glory to God he healed them he healed them glory to God amen James um, 2 and 26 uh, begins for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without works is dead was the body without the spirit so why do we need this spirit healed amen let me tell you, you you we can we can try to look as good as we can and we ought to take care of our bodies we can exercise we can be as physically fit as we want amen uh, we can think the right thoughts and all of that sort of stuff but without if that spirit isn't up to par amen it doesn't it doesn't do that body any good it doesn't do that body any good you know that's like having this real really beautiful shell of a car with no engine <laughs> amen amen you you your engine got to be right amen and, and so it needs this reunion amen with the one who designed it the one who implemented it, the one who put it together hallelujah glory to god amen glory to god amen so so uh he again um he was wounded for our transgressions 
He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. With his stripes, our spirits are healed. So as we prepare for Holy Communion, glory to God. As we get the elements, the bread and the, the drink and the cup, we, we sanctify them toward this purpose, this particular purpose today, this healing uh, of our spirits as we come into alignment and as we come into union with God, as we um, sanctify and consecrate this time for him to do a work in our spirits. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. I'm telling you, if you mean it, you know you get the confirmation in your spirit. You get that confirmation in your spirit that God is hearing you, that he is healing you, that he is just reminding you that it is a, it is a, it is a finished work and you just have to actualize. You have to just believe and by faith walk in the healing that is already yours. And so, Lord, this, this bread and this cup we offer to you. Uh, Lord, we offer, offer and ask that you will sanctify it for this particular use, God, in the, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this bread and for this cup, the bread representing our Lord's body, the cup representing his blood. Oh, God, whatever its initial um, purpose was when it was created, Lord, we pray that you sanctify it toward this particular use today as we seek this reunion with our holy, almighty, only awesome God, uh, who is spirit, as we seek this reunion of our spirits with his spirit, God, in the name of Jesus, we are confessing and professing this healing in our spirits, Lord, healing from harassment in our spirits, healing from woundedness in our spirits. We will not rehearse it anymore. We will not uh, give it that, uh, that uh, uh, time and energy anymore. We are not going to continue to talk about it anymore as though it's a present reality. It is past. It is, it is gone from us. And, it, and we are confirming it. We are confirming it through the eating of the bread and the drinking of the cup. In the name of Jesus, it is past. It is past. It is history. Our spirits are renewed. Our, our joy in our spirits is, is, is restored in the name of Jesus so that now our bodies and our, our souls can function better because what is essentially you, that spirit, has been reunited, has found its way back home even again. Is he in the name of Jesus? Do it for your glory, God. Do it for your glory, God. Do it for your glory, God. Oh, God, somebody halting between two opinions. Somebody doesn't know whether they quite believe this or not. Oh, God, remove that doubt, God. Remove that fear, God. Somebody's been sick in their spirit so long until they struggle with receiving healing in their spirits because they are known now by the sickness in their spirits. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, cause them to know that's not their inheritance from you. That's not their sanctified inheritance. That 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 they give you a bad name and they refuse to receive what you have for them oh god in the name of jesus do it for your glory we thank you and we praise you for it and so in faith we affirm the finished work of jesus christ at calvary for the healing in our spirits by eating the bread representing our lord's body by drinking the cup representing our Lord's blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, see, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the reunion with your spirit today. In the name of Jesus, 
Thank you, Lord. 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 We can see more clearly now. We can understand more clearly now. You, not our thoughts, not our feelings, but you, God, we understand you. Oh, God, thank you for this time, this reunion with your spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless all who have received and affirmed this healing today. In the name of Jesus. Who have confirmed their this healing today. In the name of Jesus. Who have apprehended this healing today. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for it, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Thank you for having for a finished work. For a finished work, God. In the name of Jesus. Be glorified. We lift our elders before you. Those who've been toiling so long. Those who learned how to do so much with so little. Those who ask for so little in return. Oh God, bless them. That these golden years may be indeed their richer years. Bless those in the midst of other struggles right now. With a peace. That you've got everything under control. Oh God, bless families going through bereavement right now. Bless families impacted by this COVID situation. Help us as Christians. To the best of our ability do what demonstrates your love. By looking out for our brothers and sisters. Protecting them by protecting ourselves. Thank you for your people. Thank you, God, that today is already a blessed day. It's already a great day. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray your blessings upon all who join in. Those who maybe have made comments. But those others who have just listened in. Lord, bless, cover, heal, seal. Uh, those who are yielded to you and who are appreciative of this reunion of, of our spirits, their spirits with yours today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love. Now, Father, bless the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love, this fellowship of kindred minds, so like to that above. Keep us in your care now. In Jesus' is strong name. Amen. God bless you, saints. I love everybody. I love everybody. Uh, let's pray uh, the mercy of God and the prosperity of God uh, over our, all of our lives. Take care of yourselves. In Jesus' name. Till we meet again. Till we meet again.